everybody. We got old blue purring back, back, back there behind me. Getting warmed up, getting ready to hit the road. I'm at the rest area just inside the province of Manitoba, right at the Saskatchewan border. For my American friends, that's just north of North Dakota. I'm gonna quickly go in here, wash my face, wash my hands, get ready for the day. Then we're gonna take that load into Winnipeg, three and a half hours east of here. And I've let the load gods know that I'm available after that. Is this garbage or is this recycling? This garbage? Garbage, right? Yeah, it's garbage. Oh, no, I threw my keys in there. Oh boy, everyone's looking at me, I'm gonna be a garbage picker. Don't throw those out. You're done. Whoops. It's a, not a good way to start off the day. Good thing I'm on my way to wash my hands. But yeah, I've let the load gods know that I'm ready to go as soon as I'm unloaded. Uh, they want to see me there in Winnipeg at 2 p.m. And I'm going to roll in there at about 1.30. So if I'm lucky, I'll be empty at 2 p.m. And then we'll see. It'll probably be too late to go load something today yet. Probably. Maybe they'll have something ready for me in the yard I can just hook onto and go. Or... We'll see what happens. This is our little rest area on the west side of the province. It's not that fancy, but it's fancier than some. I'll show you the front of it here. Very similar to what you'd see in the US at a rest area. Nicely mowed lawn, nice park for people to stop and have picnics and stuff. If you're new here, just make sure you're subscribed after you watch the video. I make new videos pretty much every day. We're here, like I said, Western Manitoba. We're headed east, so let's get back on the highway. I gotta get somewhere where I can clean these bugs off my window too. And I do a little trailer tug here just to make sure my trailer's gonna come with me. Cause I don't wanna leave it here. It needs to come with me. Turn on my dash camera there, so I'm recording everything you crazy people are doing in front of me. I want to go right down here. If you want to know more about me and my channel, if you're new here, go down below to the description of any one of my videos. It'll explain everything there for you, as well as where you can find all my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Those are my three main ones. Let's go. Look at this window, eh? <laughs> Usually I would quickly give it a, a wipe down with some bull snot window spray. The visible. But I was already rolling and talking to you guys by the time I realized I had forgotten. We're just going up the road here to Verdon. We're gonna stop at Timmy's. Or maybe I'll go all the way up to Brandon, I don't know. We'll figure it out. These bugs are a fact of life here on the prairies. That's just a sign that you had a good time last night.
there is a tornado watch for our area right now. Different than a tornado warning. It's not a tornado warning. There's no tornadoes yet. But apparently it means that the weather conditions are perfect for tornadoes. You gotta keep your eyes open. One might just pop out of nowhere at any time. I can see that there's thunderstorms rolling in though. I dropped my load already in Winnipeg. I know it's nice when I'm able to film when I'm unloading or loading. Sometimes I, I, I can film and I just don't have time. Sometimes I'm not allowed to film. So I, I, it depends on where I am, right? And how quickly we're unloading. I had to get it off the trailer very fast. And as fast as I could get the straps off, they were unloading me. So there was, I was just trying to stay out of their way for the most part. And then I had to roll up all my equipment. And by the time I was, finished everything they were already inside had signed all my paperwork and it was time for me to go and then I came here I'm at Deacon's Corner Petropass stopped here for some A&W so I left that riser that was on here at our yard I won't need it it'll just be in my way put my tarps up there right behind my truck to discourage theft we have an empty trailer. I filled up a little bit of fuel here. I just filled up one side. So I put in 199 liters, uh, which is about 52 US gallons. That's just enough to get me to where I'm going to be unloading. Pardon me, where I'm gonna be loading in Kenora. And then down to where I'm going to be unloading in Brainerd, Minnesota. And then I can fuel down there. Price of fuel down there is about $1.18 per liter Canadian after all conversions and discounts. And here the price is $1.63.9 a lot cheaper down there so we put in just enough to get us down there actually i'll we'll have more than enough the tires are doing really well so far we have about 5,000 kilometers on them now uh 3,000 miles or so so far they've been broken in really well there's no more uh squirminess coming out of them in the back end of my truck when you first put on new tires they get they're a little squirmy for a while until they break in right these are nicely broke in now, and I really like them. And I think the tread pattern is very nice. I mean, I think I think I might just keep buying these. We'll see how they do. There's a long, long time ahead of us yet before I need to make any decisions on more tires. I need to buy steer tires in a few months, but these tires, they should last me two years. If not more, at least two years. So it's 2023 right now. I put them on right at, right at the beginning, beginning of summer which I was hoping to put them on in wintertime, but the other ones just weren't lasting. I had to get these, get these on. So 2023, 2024, 2025. So I'm thinking summer of 2025 will still be fine. We might put them on right before winter of 2025, or we might make it through another one. We'll see when we get there. I'll let you know how they do though. These are Blackhawks. BDL71s. 295, 75R, 22 and a half. right here. Okay. Oh, the fly got in here. Get out of here. So interesting. Every fly in the world knows exactly how to fly into your truck through the open window. None of them can figure out how to fly back out the same window. It's like impossible in their little fly brains. Oh, I just saw lightning over there already. It's going to start raining really soon. Look how dark the sky is up here. We got to get out of here. Weather's coming from the west. We are going east to Kenora, Ontario, about two hours highway. Let's go. Okay. I've gotta be there to load first thing in the morning. Like, I mean, first thing. They open up at seven, so I wanna be at the gate at 6.30. I wanna be the first one loaded. I know there's probably like half a dozen other guys that are going for the same goal but I'm hoping I can beat all of them. No more guys coming. Hey, Rit. Got a stop sign here. Stop means stop. That guy there didn't get the memo, but hey, did my part.
this intersection has been under construction for a little while now. I'm not too sure what they're planning on doing with it, but it's a very busy one. By the looks of it, they've made it a lot wider, a lot bigger. I wonder if they're going to put an over... No, they won't be putting an overpass in. If they were doing an overpass, they wouldn't be putting all this concrete over here. They'd already have, like, the pillars up or the piles drilled or something. So there won't be an overpass. It looks like they're going to make it a lot wider, so that's good. Very busy. You get all the traffic coming from eastern Canada. It all comes through this little bottleneck here. All down this one road. Every single truck and trailer that has freight coming from eastern Canada to anywhere's west has to come through here. Another jade truck. You guys are all over the place. This one's not quite as shiny, but I'm sure it will be in no time. It's probably on his way to the truck wash right now. Very, very rare to see a jade truck with any, any dirt on it. Like, they, they usually don't even have a speck of dust on them. It's a fleet of show trucks. Is this guy going straight? He's in the straight lane. Or is he turning right? I hope he's not turning left, because there won't be any room for him to turn left. Where is he going? No, he's turning right, okay. Who's freaking me out? <laughs> There's only one turn lane going this way. trains are here. I always like showing Europeans this. Like, that's a train. Once again, this is all freight that's coming from Eastern Canada. It all has to be squeezed through Winnipeg. Every single piece. That's why Winnipeg is known as the gateway to the west. Those are all cars inside those trailers. I don't know if they're loaded now, but that's what they put in there. cars. What else do you got here? You got one box car and you got a bunch of oil. I'm sure those are probably empty and headed back to Alberta to get reloaded. You know, all that oil has to travel on rail. Wouldn't it be nice if there was like a pipeline or something in the ground? So much better, so much safer. That's too much to ask for some people. So we gotta send it on the train. That wasn't even that long of a train. There's much longer ones out here.
they finished blasting for a little while. Or maybe they've blasted as much as they need to. Not as much equipment here anymore. Oh no, they've just gone home for the day. Or wherever they're staying. They probably got like a, a camp around here somewhere where all the workers are staying. Oh! Yeah, that was a bigger bump than I thought it would be. Very nice. Look at that water off on the left. Oh, I want to get on a boat so bad. Oh, it's on the right too. Just want to go do some fishing. I only go fishing maybe like once every couple of years. I wish I could go at least once a season. That'd be nice. Don't got time for it right now, but maybe one day, you know. Maybe one day I'll have a boat. I don't know how much use we'd get out of the boat right now though, so gotta wait till I retire maybe. That's only a short, what, 35 years? By that time I should be able to get myself a very nice boat. Made it to cottage country. Got to pick up our lumber first thing in the morning. So we went pretty much straight across Manitoba today. It was a cross provincial trip, west to east. So much to see. I showed you everything, all of it. <laughs> in the south anyway, northern Manitoba is obviously very different, very different. Uh, southern little chunk of the province where I'm from is mostly agriculture. Uh, flatlands, you know, Winnipeg, the capital city is there. I'm not from the capital city, I'm from uh, south of the city. And you go up north and uh, it's more uh, remote. Uh, very few roads that go up there. A lot of mining and stuff up there. We have a lot of zinc in Manitoba. We have oil underneath uh, the southwest of Manitoba too. A lot of different minerals up north there. And then our uh, provincial border goes all the way up to the territory of Nunavut. And there's no roads leading to Nunavut. So that's the one territory in Canada and the United States that I have not been to. Nunavut and Alaska. Other than that, I've been to every continental US state and every province and territory of Canada. I still have to go to Hawaii, but uh, I think that's the one US state I haven't been to, Hawaii. No, Alaska, Alaska's a state. <laughs> of course, I just said Alaska. So two US states, so I've been to 48 US states, all 10 Canadian provinces and two of our three territories. One day I'll go up and visit Nunavut. Maybe I'll go up there for a fishing trip or something or just to go see it. I want to see it one day at least. I want to see what's up there above the tree line up in the Arctic. It's a total different life up there. It's the same country, but total different life. It's crazy. Anyway, off topic. We're here in Kenora. We're going to start from, uh, start from here in the morning, grab our lumber and head south. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't forget, if you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, you've been here a long time, go down below the video right now. Just make sure you're still subscribed. For some reason, like, I always thought there was some weird conspiracy that YouTube unsubscribes people from channels. Apparently, that's happened to a couple of you before, and I've gotten emails like, hey, like, uh, YouTube unsubscribed me for some reason, or something happened anyways that uh, your account got unsubscribed. So maybe it's like a technical error, I don't know. If you don't mind, just go down below the video on YouTube there. Just make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that bell for uh, notifications. I make daily videos. If you're new, you can go to my playlists on my main channel and you can see videos of me every day for the last 10 years. I've learned a lot and I've uh, changed a lot. We've had a lot of fun. We'll see you tomorrow.